Hi there, and welcome to episode 30, <laughs> can you believe it, to The Evidence. This is your buddy Dave over at Mars X3D. And uh, we have some real interesting things to look at today. Uh, a couple of items that are similar, one that I found and one that Keith Laney found. And uh, we also have some, what I think are excavations, large scale excavations taking place on Mars. I don't know, look at it. You tell me, you be the judge. Anyway, for those of you who are new to the channel, look at the link down below so you can learn the very simple technique of X3D viewing. This is a 3D stereographic YouTube channel. You have to view it in X3D, which is the simplest and least expensive way to view stereo. I suppose you could buy a Viewmaster, but you're not going to see this stuff. Okay. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. We got a lot to look at. So here we go. It's kind of hard not to notice that tumble of boxy stuff there below the cliff. My friend Terry Burnett just did a version of this just recently while this was in production. So I want to at least give him a shout out. And uh, let's take a little closer look at this one. The challenge here is how many right angles do you count in this image? I see at least 24. There may be more, there may be less, maybe I'm being overconfident, but that's what I count. So this to me indicates that this is building material that's tumbled down off the cliff. It's hard to think that there'd be that many right angles in just random crumbling of uh, layered stone like we see here. In this very same image, beautifully done by the way of Murray Buttes by Neville Thompson, down there in the lower right I saw something that I felt didn't belong there. For me, bilateral symmetry is always a dead giveaway that something doesn't belong there. When I saw this I saw the curves and the top angles and in particular those teeth along the bottom and what appear to be carvings on the surface. I'm calling this a sun disk. Of course, that's not what it is. I just had to call it something. But you know those teeth at the bottom look mechanical to me and the carving along the right edge. Those could be symbols of some kind. The entire thing is symmetrical and uh, non-fractal and just doesn't belong there as a natural object. The thing is, my colleague Keith Laney found something similar in another gigapan. Keith Laney's beautiful work on 1438 is jam-packed with strange stuff. What I'm calling Keith's shield is something Keith pointed out right at the get-go. This looks like sheet metal to me that's covered with welds. As you look around the image, you can see anomalies everywhere. But we're going to take a closer look at a couple of things that seemed interesting to me. They're marked with the locator dots both above and below the shield. And for you OCD sticklers out there, I'm just calling it a shield for convenience sake. I'm not saying that's what it is. Okay. You can see that that white rock has radial projections all along its edge. Then look at that little spike coming out of the shadow to the right. It looks segmented and it has a conical end. To the right of that, two pieces of metal that look like broken wheels used to close uh, either an airlock or maybe a watertight door. To the right of that, another piece full of right angles with two identical tabs sticking out of it and more right angles on the two pieces just to the left of that. <laughs> Weird stuff and sorry, not rocks. Now this looks like a pretzel made out of stainless steel, doesn't it? And just to the right, a square block with a raised edge. I'm well aware of all the other anomalies in this particular image. I'd encourage you to go to the link and search for yourselves. 
If you're not already familiar with my friend Neil Spence, he is another wonderful anomalist who makes great gigapans. And this particular selection is from his gigapan of opportunity, Soul 952 and 953. And uh, what we're looking at here in this context image is a segment of Oppie's view of Victoria Crater from Duck Bay. Up there on the left in this view of the crater's far side, right angles caught my eye and made me think maybe I need to take a closer look at this one. Yeah, I know it's a little bit blurry, but I think you'll agree that if you're viewing it in 3D, it does make it a little clearer. And it shows what may well be purposeful excavations. On the left, we see parallel rock walls of uniform thickness with right angles and equidistant from each other. Moving to the right and on the top edge of the crater lies a large white cylinder. Its end is covered and it has a knob in the center. What exactly is that? Behind and stretching several hundred yards into the distance, it appears as if the overlaying sand has been excavated to reveal what may be foundations of an ancient building. It's clear that the sand has been removed and that perfectly rectangular foundations or walls have been exposed. Back to the edge of the crater and to the right, a very suspicious looking tangle of structures and walls may be additional ruins or perhaps just rocks, albeit very strange ones. My personal belief is that there is ongoing archaeological work happening on Mars, if one believes that we colonized Mars back in the 60s. That's an outrageous statement to some, but a logical one once one takes the time to examine the documents, the testimonies, and the photographic evidence that support this contention. I really appreciate each one of you taking the time to stop by and have a look at this evidence. This is a labor of love for me. You'll notice the videos are not monetized, nor are they intended to convince anybody of anything. You're adults. Look at the evidence, and then you be the judge. This is your buddy Dave at Mars X3D. Be well.